What's going on guys? It's King Tuts Pro. Welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to do Junior Ali's scribble effect or in other words how to do the scribble effect in general in Final Cut Pro 10. I did do a video showing you guys how to do the scribble effect which is this right here in After Effects and a lot of you guys really really loved it which is awesome. But this time I want to show you guys how to do it in Final Cut Pro 10 with using Photoshop or something similar. You guys can do something similar. You can always download a trial of Photoshop and use it just for this tutorial if you want. Uh, by all means, go for it. I want to show you guys how you would use this effect. And this video here is filmed by Junior Ali himself. He put it all together, so credit to him. I take no credit on making the video, but I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to do the effect in Final Cut Pro 10. Let me go ahead and push play. So super short and simple, as you can see. It starts off like this, and then it kind of... Uh, kind of gives you that scribble effect right there with the blue and red and I'll show you guys how to do that in Photoshop really quickly and how to keep the video moving like that. So if I go ahead and push play you can see how awesome that looks. So I'm going to go ahead and quit out of that and go into Final Cut Pro 10. So guys if you go into the titles and generators tab you go into the generators you go into the vlogger pack you guys are probably wondering why I'm showing you guys this in the first place. Well this vlogger pack here, which you guys can download and purchase, a link will be down in the description. You guys have access to a whole bunch of cool animated uh, vlog stuff. So we have buttons that show you the next video. You have a subscribe button right there, which looks really, really cool. If I push play, you can see that it's all pre-animated. So it looks awesome. You have a share. You have a end screen, as you can see there. You have different end screens. You have lower thirds. And you have like a like button, as you can see there. And it looks really, really cool. You guys can add these to your videos and stuff like that. Now, I am going to be doing a giveaway for whoever purchases and downloads this. In order for you guys to participate, all you have to do is purchase and download it. A link will be down in the description of this video. Send me a screenshot that you actually paid for it, of course. And it's actually really, really cheap. Once you guys have done that, I'm going to be doing a giveaway on this video. It's a $50 Amazon gift card, which is awesome. So if only one of you guys does this, you have a 100% chance of winning this. So, so let's get back into the tutorial. So once you are in Final Cut Pro 10, you have all of your stuff ready to go. I would suggest you guys go ahead and edit all of your videos, add your color grading, your transitions. Well, I would add transitions in the end because it just makes it a little bit easier. But go ahead and make all your cuts. And once you want to go ahead and add those scribble effect to a certain uh, frame in your video, that is what you want to do, right? You want to go ahead and select a frame and then cut it out. So to do that's really simple. So I'm going to go ahead and mute this. Well, actually, I'm going to leave it how it is. So uh, what I'm going to go ahead and do is as it's playing right here, it's going to go ahead and zoom out and then it's going to go ahead and just focus right where it focuses. I want to select the clip, which is, I believe, this one right here. And I'm going to press B. And I'm going to go ahead and press the blade tool. So actually, it's going to change right here, which is fine. So it's going to go ahead and clip it or cut it to the nearest frame. Then all you have to do is just cut it again. And it only has to be one frame or you can do two frames. If you do two frames, you're going to be exporting two current frames that you've cut. So if you want to do two different scribble effects, you can do one that is, let's say, blue and red, and then the next frame can be something different, or you can add more of those scribble effects. So go ahead and select that frame that we've cut. Go ahead and go to the share icon, or go to file, share, and then go to save current frame. I'm pretty sure you guys are not going to have it, so click on add destination. From here, all you want to do is go on to destinations, go to where it says save current frame, and drag that to the left to add it to the destination. So now every time you go to the file and share, you're going to have the save current frame option there. Select the export uh, option. I chose a TIFF file. A TIFF file will go ahead and save it as the highest resolution. So that is what I do. I don't save it as a JPEG. It just compresses it and makes it look a little bit worse. So select TIFF file, and it's still a photo. So it's going to go ahead and export. So go to file, go to share, go to save current frame. This will only export that one current frame we have selected, which will pretty much make a photo out of it. And that's also how you get thumbnails, by the way. So go ahead and just, you know, give it a name, pick one, click next. I'm going to save that to my desktop and click on save. So once Final Cut Pro 10 exports it, I'm going to go on here and you're going to have your photo here. So if you open it up, you can see how it looks. Looks awesome. Great. So 
Once we are done with this, we want to go ahead and drag this into Photoshop. So drag that in Photoshop and Photoshop will open. You guys don't have to use Photoshop. You can use something similar or something that um, allows you to draw, uh, you know, scribble lines or whatever. You can always go online, but you guys can, of course, download Photoshop and get the trial version of it and then just delete it if you don't want to use it ever again. So we have this right here. So how do we do those uh, really cool lines? Well, go to the brush tool and in the brush tool, I'm using Photoshop CC 2018 for all of you guys that are wondering. Select a color. I'm going to choose Scion. So um, it's kind of in between that blue and green. Click on OK. You want to make sure that at the top, you want to select the size. Make that at 1 pixels. The hardness at 100. And then mode should be at normal. Opacity 100. Flow 100. And smoothing at 3. You can do it at 100. And I'll show you guys with the difference here. So... This is with smoothing on. As you can see, it's a little bit slow, right? And it tries to smooth out the edges. If you do zero, it doesn't do that, right? So I like to keep it honestly at zero or in between zero and 10. Um, it just gives you that more jagged look, which looks more interesting. So I'm going to go ahead and start making my line. So I'm going to do something like this and something like that. I don't know. Just play around with it. You can always be unique. So something like that will look pretty cool, right? So once you're done, we go to go ahead and export it. So go to file, go to share and, or sorry, go to export and go to save for web. Then you're going to go ahead and choose a JPEG and keep everything the same. Click save, give it a new name. I'm going to name this pick two. Click save and go back into Final Cut Pro 10. So go into the option where you can go ahead and import your media. And I'm going to do pick two, click import selected. So once you have done this, we're going to go ahead and drag this right here. And I'm going to let go of this and I'm going to click replace from start. So now instead of using the other clip that was without the scribble effect, it's going to go ahead and add it. Well, it's going to replace it with the one that we've added the scribble effect to. So now if you push play with the audio and everything edited out, this is what it will look like. Sweet. So it looks really, really cool. So that is really cool. And um, I mean, if you guys found this tutorial helpful in any way, be sure to leave a like. That'd be awesome, guys. Smash the like button. I really want to post daily videos. You guys left a whole bunch of comments on that poll that I posted a while back, but I'm getting to it tonight. So expect daily videos and subscribe if you haven't already. Turn on the bell notification to receive videos. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.